Dennis Kucinich of Ohio. Congressman, good to speak to you again. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Listen, none of this is a secret. There are all sorts of things we knew about GE when uh, Jeff Immelt was named to this post. That number one, GE uh, pays less corporate tax than most people think it should pay on a federal level, and that it creates jobs overseas. The White House, the president must have known this, but as the head of one of the world's biggest companies, one of the biggest industrial companies in the world, it seemed to make some sense at the time. Did it make sense to you that Jeff Immelt would be the key man advising the president on job creation in the U.S.? I mean, you know, he, he has expertise in job creation, but it, unfortunately for the United States, seems to be creating jobs in other countries. Uh, One-fifth of the U.S. workforce has been... Uh, uh, has been eliminated since uh, that gentleman had uh, taken the helm of GE. Now, the, the, the larger problem here, which caused me to look at this, is that we have a synthetic, a synthetic vision technology that was developed at NASA for the private sector. It is that technology and other unspecified high technologies which GE is now moving to China, which will help China gain an even uh, greater lead over the U.S. and jeopardize further our aerospace industry. Right. So if this individual is involved in creating jobs and in competitiveness, uh, what's he doing? Okay, and, and so you represent a state congressman which has really been hit hard over time by, by the loss of manufacturing jobs, which has nothing to do with this particular administration. It's been going on for a long time. Right. But I guess here's the issue. GE, like so many other industrial companies based in the United States in order to stay competitive have been creating jobs elsewhere around the world. They also sell their products elsewhere. So who better? In other words, if it's not <laughs> the head of a major industrial corporation, who is the person who you think should be advising the president on how to get jobs created in the United States? I, I'm not being funny about it. I'm saying, no, who I, are I you know, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm, and it's a very serious matter, but look, uh, if the White House doesn't have a jobs policy and they go to somebody who's not only moving his jobs out of the country, but also offshoring profits so he's not paying a, a, a share of the, of the taxes the uh, GE ought to be paying, uh, look, the White House has to get a grip on its jobs policy. Right. We have 14 million Americans out of work. And you're right, in the state of Ohio, uh, the unemployment level is high, but at the same time, we have lost steel, uh, aerospace. Uh, and and uh, and we have to have a manufacturing policy, which we don't have, that says that as a matter of national security, uh, steel, automotive, aerospace, shipping yeah. are the industries we should be focusing on. Yes. We're not doing that. Some would argue that.